Welcome to the Lagos Real Estate Insider Podcast, the number one podcast dedicated to helping you create wealth, investing in real estate, and live a world-class life while making a difference and impact in the lives of people. I am your host, Idris Ndagwa. On this podcast, I share insight to the real estate market, advice and strategies for investing in real estate, and some of the latest real estate investment opportunities. I also share some motivation and inspiration for taking your life to the next level. Thanks for turning into this episode and let's dive in. If you're a foreigner and you want to buy a property in Lagos, Nigeria, in this episode of the Lagos Real Estate Insider Podcast, I'm going to be sharing the sister process of buying a property in Lagos, Nigeria. You know, there are lots of cases of scammers and fraudsters that have been reported all over the internet, especially by the news and the media, poisoning the mind of people and thinking maybe um, Lagos is a bad place to invest in property. And I can tell you there are a lot of our clients that have invested with us that I have helped buy a property in Lagos, Nigeria. We have a client from India, we are from US and Canada so far. Those are the three countries that we have work with and if you like to work with us there is link to all our contacts in the podcast short notes and in the description of the video if you are watching on youtube in this episode i'm going to be sharing six steps for buying a property successfully in lagos nigeria so before i break down how to buy a house in lagos i want you to understand how the nigeria real estate works you know compared to advanced countries like the us uk canada and other foreign countries the government controls the real estate market and everything is regulated by the government. In Nigeria, there are some estates and places that is controlled by the government, but the majority of the real estate market is controlled by the private individual. So that's what brought about fraudsters and scammers. In Nigeria real estate, houses are built by either individual or a real estate company. So if you are buying from a real estate company, the real estate company might have, have a track record because most of our properties are from real estate companies with a track record. And if you are listing out property from an individual developer, he has to be somebody that we trust and we've been working with for so long that we know he have a proven track record. So some properties are developed by private individual. So when working with private individuals, that's when problems do arise. But if you're buying from a real estate company, the process of buying a house is very simple. However, most of the properties from a real estate company is sold out before it's even built. Once a real estate company started building an estate, the estate is promoted and most of the properties are sold out before getting to the completion stage. That's why most of the properties are usually from the individual development. So there are six steps if you want to buy a house in Lagos successfully. And the first step is to get clear on your goals. Now, if you are coming into Lagos and you want to buy a property, you have to be very clear on your goal. Why you are coming to Lagos? Are you coming for a vacation? Are you coming for a walk? Or are you coming to settle down in Lagos because Lagos is divided into the Lagos Island and Lagos mainland. If you are coming to Lagos and you want to buy a property in the Lagos Island, why your work or appointment is in the Lagos mainland? Every day you will be battling with traffic and you will be stressed out. So that's why you want to be very clear on your goal, why you are coming to Lagos. Once you get clear on that, you will now know which location do you want to buy a property if your work is going to be in the lagos island you have to consider buying a property in the lagos island and if your work is in lagos mainland you have to get a property in the lagos mainland but if you are coming for a vacation purpose lagos island is the best and i'm going to make another episode about the best places foreigners live in the lagos nigeria so after you get clear on your goals and the location you also have to get clear on your budgets because location determines budget. Developed areas are more expensive in real estate compared to 
undeveloped or developing areas. So that's the first step. The second step is to find the right agents. You know, becoming successful in life is about finding the right people and working with them. If you can find the right agents who understand your needs, real estate is not stressful. And if you want to work with us, if you want me to help you, there are links to my contacts in the description and in the podcast short notes. You have to look for a real estate agent to work with. Contact the real estate agent with your ideal budget and preferred location and your ideal property, like what you are looking for, whether it's fully detached property, semi detached property, waterfront property, and the likes. The real estate agent knows what he's doing. He will ask you, like your purpose, to find what is the best for you. So that's why you want to work with the right real estate agent. Step three is property listing. Now, after you've communicated with the real estate agent, the agent will list out the available properties for you, send you the pictures, the location, the brief, and the prices. So what we do after a client contacts us is we provide two or more options for the clients. Anyone he prefers that fits into his budget will now go for that. Step four is inspection booking. Once you arrive, communicate with the agent and you will book your inspection. You will communicate the date, time, and the meeting point. Mostly, we ask you to come down to our office and from our office, we will take you on a tour to see the property. Inspect the property, check if everything is intact as shown to you. Step 5 is payment for the property and payment of the agency fee. Now, after you inspect the property and you are satisfied, if the property is individual development, the agent will set up a meeting between you and the developer to meet and you will talk, you will agree and you will make a payment to the developer's account. But in some cases, the developer may travel, he may be in abroad, so you will make a payment to his account, he will send you the receipt of payment and other necessary documents. And if the property is developed by a real estate company, after you inspect the property, the agent will give you a subscription form to fill and you will make the payment to the real estate company account. After the payment, you will receive the receipt of payments through your email, deed of assignment, and letter of allocation. Your apartment will be allocated to you immediately. So basically, it depends on the property. And after you pay the developer, if the property is private development, then you pay the agency fee and the final steps, which is step six, is documentation. All the necessary documents will be prepared by a lawyer and your documents will be handed over to you. So those are the steps for buying a house in Lagos, Nigeria. So if you want to buy a home in Lagos, Nigeria, those are the steps for successfully buying a house without falling in victim because what causes falling in victim is simply working with the wrong people if you don't want to fall in any victim work with professionals people that knows what they are doing and mostly check over their social media check what they are doing are they really into the real estate and understand the market so if you have any question you can contact me on whatsapp or if you want to work with me directly you can check out links to all my contacts in the description and the podcast short notes and i will be happy to help you if you're enjoying today's episode here are three ways you can work with me support me and this podcast number one share this episode with a friend family co-worker or a team who you think we find it valuable if you share it with any of those people and they find it valuable they will thank you later being the source for sharing it with them which strengths your relationship and help you take your relationship to the next level number two refer me to a friend who need a property or a guidance for their real estate investment if you know anyone who need a property or want to make an inquiry or you need a property and you want to make an inquiry don't hesitate to contact me on 070-4408-6868 again 070-4408-6868 or you can email me at 
real estate with idris at gmail.com again real estate with idris at gmail.com and finally number three is to help me rate this podcast on your listening platform whether you are listening on apple spotify google amazon music or any of your favorite platform help me rate this podcast and when you rate it and leave a review it helps other people just like you discover the podcast as a very valuable podcast thanks for listening to today's episode and i will talk to you in the next episode